Okay. Hello everyone. I am Saverio Francini from the University of Florence. And um, today I show you our chapter. Let me share my screen. Okay. So I guess you're able to see my screen now. Uh, okay, right. So um, I'm co-author of the chapter F4.3. So the title is Clouds and Image Compositing. Uh, today we'll have a, an overview of the whole chapter. We will see a little bit of uh, theory um, with a focus on, uh, on the background that is needed to properly understand what image composites are. Let's uh, see better later. And then we will see together the checkpoints that uh, are uh, that are part of the of our chapter. So the the codes that uh, that are detailed in the in the book and that are uh, available on the Google Attention platform. So uh, those are the the main outcomes that you you are expected to to obtain from this uh, from this video and from this chapter more in general. So you learn how to mask clouds, and you you that that is the main um, the main aim of this chapter is to make you able to construct uh, pixel based composites. So uh, those images that are uh, uh, the basis of uh, most of the uh, remote sensing applications, and also as a last step, we provide some details to make you able to deal with uh, data gaps. So pixels for which any valid observation is available over a specific time period and considering, of course, a specific satellite or sensor. So those are those below are the information uh, that uh, you are expected to already F, so the stuff that you are expected to already know. So import images and image collections, filtering and visualizing. That is the argument uh, of chapter F1. Then perform basic image analysis. So select bands, compute indices, and create masks. Then use band scaling factors that, they, that are the operations that uh, we'll use also today to obtain reflectance values from uh, uh, Landsat data available on Google Earth Engine, then perform pixel-based transformations, use neighborhood-based image transformations, write the function and map it over an image collection. That is something that you will need in particular today. And then summarize an image collection with reducer. That is, again, something that we will do also today. So theory, uh, clouds and image compositing. Uh, what you need to know. So um, as you know, uh, optical sensors have the issues, the issue of clouds. So clouds uh, limit the possibility of um, having valid surface reflectance values uh, from the ground. Uh, so uh, when working with, rem when with remote sensing imagery, uh, it is the, the, the best product would be an image, a cloud-free image acquired over a specific day and covering the entire study area. However, uh, for the uh, issue I mentioned it, so uh, the, uh, the presence of clouds, but also the revisitation time of the sensor, this is something that uh, is challenging to, or often impossible to have. So um, to obtain valid observation over large areas and consistent information, uh, specific operations are needed. And those operations are named uh, pixel compositing. Uh, so here you have the link that you can use to, um, to have the codes on your Google Earth Engine account. And we will see uh, those codes very soon together. So yes, th that is um, the first part of a presentation. On the second part, we'll uh, see the, the three sections of, 
of this chapter of the F4 chapter uh, using the codes that uh, are again detailed in the chapter and available on the Google Earth Engine. So I'm going to interrupt my presentation. Okay.